Um, howdy, everyone. My name is Bear. I'm a master's student at UC Berkeley, supported as a Schmidt Futures Quad Fellow and an NSF DTOD Fellow. And my research mostly looks at uh, enabling autonomy in extreme environments. And so we explicitly think of that as limited network connectivity, limited energy resupply, and unmapped operating settings. And the really cool thing about this is the applications are kind of sexy. It's like, um, Global security or disaster response is a big one. Um, and so I spent the summer in Fiji with the US State Department thinking about how can we enable better autonomous systems for disaster response. Um, and this line of sort of inquiry came in around um, how uninterpretable these systems were to these people where maybe English was a second language or they just didn't have a strong technical background. Uh, and so we went back to the lab. I work at the hybrid systems lab at Berkeley. Um, and we thought about, you know, can we lean on mechanistic interpretability techniques, which are very much, you know, centered on LLMs? And can we use that to enable better autonomy that was intuitive, uh, both in semantic language space as well as in the perception space? And so I've got up here a model of like some of the work that we're, that we're thinking about. Um, and the best way to capture it is it's just to start off with the model that we're using. And this is OpenVLA up here. Um, and this is a vision language action model. So it's just like an LLM, like ChatGBT. But instead of uh, taking as input just uh, perception and, and text, it outputs actuation signals for a robot. So you can say, you know, uh, I want the, the robot to move the banana to the plate. Uh, and it outputs XYZ coordinates as well as rotation coordinates for a robot arm. Um, and what we want to do is we want to make this safer. We want to hyperactivate safe semantic concepts and also intuitively understand that from a perception perspective. And so what we do is we, um, without getting into too much technical detail, um, we actually have a look at the feed forward networks within uh, the LLM that's uh, part of, um, of OpenVLA, which is Llama 2. Um, and we essentially um, associate um, each feed forward network um, layer with, a sp with the tokens, which are essentially the words in the overall vocabulary space that are most activated by these weights just by default without any input. And we cluster those and then we score them with the safety API to understand what are the raw weights in the model that are most relevant to different safety concepts. Um, and then in the forward pass of producing this output, we're able to hyper activate safety concepts. So we can get the, the, the uh, vision language action model to be very concerned about things like pedestrians or sidewalks or et cetera concepts. Uh, and the last part is that we have an accompanying uh, perception um, uh, angle that leans on you know, the very simple like uh, interpretability techniques that were originally you know, uh, pioneered by people like Chris Sola, et cetera. And this looks at, can we actually visualize how the attention crops of the model change um, as, we're, as we're looking at it? Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. <laughs>